Today is Sunday, so we are starting with a brunch at home. But apart from that, there's a lot coming up in this video. and welcome to Sugar Spice Nice. My name is Shweta and I'm starting the day in my parents' home today. It's Sunday and my mom is actually making aloo paratha for lunch. Boiled potatoes, spices, coriander, chilies and ginger. And this is the stuffing. These are roasted and topped with some ghee. Also, is this just me or does everyone else also enjoy aloo paratha with ketchup? Let me know in the comments. It is raining today as well so I thought of heading to the parlor for some me time. This is Chang's in Worli. Easily one of the oldest parlors in the city and I've been coming here since I was in school probably for haircut and they have this one hair treatment that I've been loving for probably 20 years now and it starts with a hot oil massage and it's a really nice massage not too harsh not too mild just right then they'll use a mask of aloe vera and egg and literally cover the whole scalp with it while massaging that in and they'll also extend it to the hair strands and they leave this on for about 10 minutes the hair also gets a steam while this is being done then they give you a hair wash and blast dry your hair this is the most natural mask it's something that can be done at home as well. I've done it and it is a little bit messy and this place just makes it convenient. This treatment is called your protein treatment. If you're a vegetarian, they do have non-egg version of protein treatment as well. It costs about rupees 1500. I think it depends on the hair length and the location of this place is going to be in the description box below. So make sure you check it out if you want to try this out. After this, I'm heading back to Bandra Hill Road and Linking Road. So today, I'm actually assisting my sister in some shopping and I didn't personally shop anything today, just looked around and finally had a quick dinner at McDonald's. And is it even a visit to McDonald's if you don't have the softie? Let me know if you guys are crazy about it as well. Also, we are celebrating because it's my sister's birthday and parents' anniversary, so it's 12 a.m. And instead of cake, we're having these Mimi's taco ice cream thingies. I've been crazy about Mimi's. I mean, I'm going to leave a link to their Zomato in the description box below. But I really like these. You get a box of six for almost 600 something. So it is a steep price for the quantity. These are assorted flavors. And this one is a chocolate wafer taco with ice cream inside it. No cake because we have plans to eat lots of dessert tomorrow as well. You're going to know in just a few moments. So we are continuing the celebrations today right here at one of my most loved places, loved experiences in Mumbai and that is the Sea Lounge in the Taj Mahal Palace Hotel. You know that excitement of walking into the Taj, it's just so overwhelming. A tour of the hotel is going to come up a bit later, but first it's time for high tea at the Sea Lounge. High tea is a fancy afternoon tea buffet which happens between 2.30pm to 6pm every day and it's an unlimited buffet of chaat, snacks, finger food, desserts and of course tea and coffee. This is my first time here with my family but I have been here a couple of times earlier and that's why I feel that this is a place that that is perfect for anything special. Birthdays, anniversaries or even while celebrating a life milestone, the place is indulgence level max by all means. So let me show you everything that we're eating. They bring all of the charts to the table. So we tasted everything. Bhel puri, sev puri, pani puri, dahi puri and more. And then there's even more appetizers and stuff that come in this charli. And then there are hot snacks as well. Mexican tarts, stuffed kulcha, mini toasties, mushroom patties, chana salad and also a chef's special sandwich on the table without onion and garlic for my mom's preference. The buffet actually has a lot. There's an equal number of non-vegetarian appetizers and snacks but the one thing that cannot be missed here is the dessert section. Firstly, let's just take a minute to appreciate how beautiful the whole spread looks. Probably six to seven different kinds of cakes, 
tarts, dry cakes, muffins, macarons, smaller pastries, Indian mithais too. It's difficult to get enough of this spread, both visually and eating wise. There's also fresh fruits and cheese, and also just three to four hours to enjoy all of this. I think the highlight for us was that we all managed to cut our own cake here. The highlight is really the view and spotting a rainbow so clear and for so long. Like I was able to get shots of it from so many different angles and I don't remember the last time I've seen one which is like not clouded. If possible, then I'd recommend sitting on these window tables. These are only for two or three people. So we couldn't sit here this time since we were four, but the views and the food is best enjoyed from this seating. After a while, we actually saw a double rainbow. The other one is a bit too faint to be captured on camera. So I don't think you'll be able to see it, but oh my God, this was so gorgeous to see in real life. Not just because of the rainbow, the place is also very picturesque otherwise, so you're definitely going to want to keep getting as many pictures as possible. The Gateway of India, the Mumbai Harbour and the Arabian Sea, these are unparalleled views that can be enjoyed from the sea lounge. I think for me, this place will always be that one special location for celebrating something noteworthy. The price of the high tea buffet is rupees 3000 plus taxes per person, and now that we are done enjoying it, it's time to take a quick tour of the hotel. These are the legendary red carpeted stairs and one simply can't get enough pictures here. And now we're walking past this gallery, sort of a hallway, where there are pictures from key historical moments of this structure. I've had the pleasure of staying inside one of the rooms in this grand hotel and I've shared that experience with you guys in another video. I'll link that below in the description in case you haven't seen it already. I have to say, I feel really, really blessed for being able to experienced this high tea so probably twice or thrice in my life but I think my parents and my sister enjoyed and now we're just gonna walk around the gateway I cannot tell you how much I miss this sea view of Mumbai just like this infinity of the ocean is mesmerizing so I think I'm gonna enjoy a little bit of a walk here then let's see what we do It's a sleepy morning and I'm heading for some pampering. One of my favorite places to get a facial in Mumbai is Skin Story in Bandra. They specialize in facials and the whole ambience of the place, it feels like you've entered one of those Korean or Japanese facial salons. They take one or I think at best two clients at a time and they have only two facial beds. They have about five to six different kinds of facials and because my skin is a bit sensitive at the moment, I'm taking something soothing. So I'm getting the marine algae facial. And it's almost a 90 minute procedure, but this is what my skin looks like after. It cost around Rs. 3,500, but the experience is absolutely wonderful. Now I'm back home and this is lunch today. There's khichia papad in the making and some brinjal pulao and a little bit of pink peru on the side. I'm heading to spend the rest of the day at the biggest mall in Mumbai. This is Phoenix Market City in Kurla and this mall has everything. Food, shopping, gaming, movies, chilling. It's a world in itself really. First order of business is Zara. The store here is just so well organized, probably the best ones in the city and it makes spotting things so much simpler. I found this dress in the clearance section and I think I quite like it. Let me know what you guys think. Walk by a few other stores and finally I'm here at Daiso. If you want to know more about this store then I've put it in a separate video. I will link it in the description for you guys. And now it's time for a chai break at the Vag Bakri Tea Lounge. This is my first time here and I'm quite surprised because they've made it into a tea cafe of sorts with chargers and also working spots pretty cool. Their menu is quite good too. I'm trying the masala makhana chaat and some chai. The tea was actually quite good and somehow I felt like the tea will be good over here because they also manufacture chai patti. But this red thing from afar reminded me of Starbucks for some reason. I think the graphic looks eerily similar to the Starbucks logo. It's just in red. 
Now it's time for a one hour vacation at Sukhothai. I simply love their foot massages, the ambiance, the staff, the service, their technique and just the overall experience here. They get it right most of the time. And they have maintained this level of service throughout the years. I think I started visiting them probably 6 7 years ago and from that day to this date, I think the experience has been stellar most of the time. I have only tried their foot spa and that's the one thing that I vouch for. It costs about rupees two thousand for sixty minutes, which is a little bit steep. But let me tell you, it's absolutely worth it. Now I'm finally heading from one Phoenix to another. This is Phoenix Mills in Lower Parel, Mumbai, and I'm here to catch up with my friends for a nice cup of coffee late night. And we're heading to the newly opened French cafe Paul. There's so much hype about this place, and I've never visited them when I've travelled abroad, so it's a first for me as well. And the menu does seem pretty exhaustive. A bit of food, lots of dessert, and of course coffee. I think the desserts were pretty good. Coffee is also really good, but I think just because the place has recently opened, it's chaotic, and the staff. is pretty clueless and be ready for a lot of waiting as well it is also slightly pricey you can be prepared to shell out a minimum of 600 to 700 rupees for coffee and maybe one savory or dessert item and with that we've reached the end of this vlog another three eventful days in mumbai if you want to know what i did on my first and second day in mumbai then watch the video link below and if you want to know what i'm going to be doing for the rest of the two days then subscribe to my channel and turn on that notification bell so that you know when i'm uploading the next vlog don't forget to like this video video and share it with your friends and family and i'll see you in my next one bye